is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we actually have a little bit of wwe action figure news now i didn't expect this to be dropped on us actually got dropped on us yesterday kind of randomly honestly just one of those out of the blue type days where they just kind of drop it on us now i know in March, we're, uh, we're going to be getting more WWE action figure reveals. I don't think this was all we're getting for the month of March. I think we're going to get like a big reveal day, and we're going to get uh, some pretty good stuff coming up soon, man. Especially WrestleMania weekend. When we get to WrestleMania and WrestleMania weekend, going to be epic. They always do, you know, their Axis type event. I don't know how the, the restrictions are going to be or anything like that, but action figures will be shown off, and it'll be epic. Also, we have some more news for AEW Revolution this weekend. I'm pretty sure we're getting revealed on Saturday or Friday. Friday or Saturday, we're going to see new AEW action figures as well. They're going to show them off at like the Fan Fest deal for Revolution. I guarantee that as well. So I'm guessing we'll see AEW Unmatched Series 4 with CM Punk and Jade. I think we'll see AEW and Rival Collection Series 9. I think we're going to see some epic stuff, man. But anyways, we do have a little bit of news to cover today, but I wanted to put it in your head. Go ahead and get ready. We are going to be seeing some stuff from not only Mattel and WWE, but AEW and Jazzwares coming up this weekend. So as soon as those things drop, we will cover them on the channel, man. But let's dive into today's news as we have some pretty interesting stuff here. Like nothing over the top or anything. I have a little bit of good, a little bit of bad. We're gonna we're gonna cover both sides of the coin there, of course. But yesterday, Ringside posted up that not only do we have some pre-orders up, but we also got to see what figures we're getting over here. So uh, the first thing that went up for pre-order was the Ultimate Edition Series 13. You guys know we've already seen these figures. It is Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. We have seen both of these. They look pretty solid. You know, we got some good stuff going on. So if uh, I don't know what pre-order they're on right now, if you guys missed out on the pre-order, go use MD Toys code, of course to save yourselves 10%, put on the priority shipping, and go ahead and take care of that. Put them in the defender cases, do all that stuff if you want to lock those down. I don't know what they're going to be for retail. I don't know if they'll ever hit retail. You guys know the deal in the Ultimate Edition. So they, they posted those up, but they also posted up WWE Basic Series 131. And this wave has some hits, and this wave has some misses, and we're going to go ahead and cover it. And they also had the Zodiac up for pre-order on ringside. Now, I don't know what the prices are. You guys know that sometimes the prices can get a bit steep on these exclusive and things of that nature so you know you'll just have to go over there and check it out but let's go ahead and take a look at series 131 basic series first up we have randy orton now we did see the render image of this not too long ago and we talked about it like it's kind of a cool concept right it's like the backstage area randy orton he's got a solid head sculpt going on i don't hate the head sculpt i low-key like it it kind of looks like a prototype though in the caption it said uh randy orton series 131 proto render revealed so i guess this is a render of the prototype which is kind of weird is this a head cast painted it kind of looks like it like it's hand painted so that could totally be the case that's going on here i'm not entirely sure but he does have his rko hoodie he's got his black shorts he's got his knee pads you know it's one of those things man where you know if you want to backstage randy orton I'm, I'm as big of a randy orton fan as you'll find man he's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time but i don't know about this figure i do not know what we're going to get here we may get another randy orton before elite series 100 who knows or he may be in elite series 100 but you know his last elite was an absolute unit and i don't know if this one can quite hold up to the same stakes as that one but it's not terrible it's not terrible uh solid little head sculpt on there i'm kind of feeling the head but the rest of it i don't know i don't really know it's kind of an awkward looking figure there but anyways man let's move on to the next one we have lince dorado now this one's interesting i want to see did lince dorado not get re released did he not get released if, if he didn't get released then i must be tripping but i could have swore that he got released he may not have been released though but this is an interesting figure you got a lot of colors going on really cool head sculpt going on i think this is also a re-released head sculpt but they do have some nice you know paint going on you got some red some blue some gold in there not my favorite basic i saw some people really enjoying it i think he even commented on it and he he was enjoying it he says he commented on it and said ec dub so that's pretty cool as well but lince dorado he has his figure right there not as good as his elite you know kind of plain jane no knee pads so eh, i don't know how well this one's gonna do next up we have kind of a gem of the set honestly probably my favorite figure in the whole set and it's going to be none other than Trash Corbin. We have a Trash Corbin figure here and it's a pretty decent head sculpt. Again, I think it is like a, I don't know, I can't tell if this is a real figure or if this is a rendering of what the figure is going to be, like actual figure. Maybe that's what this is. I think this is actually a like render Photoshop style like digital image of the figure itself. And I think that's why everything looks kind of weird. But it is, you know, it's the figure itself. It's not just the figure drawn. It's actually a 3D model digitally stuff. 
So there's that. But I like this. It has a real, like, throwback, like, Bone Crunchers, like, Titan Tron style, like, Vince McMahon body going on. Like, I actually really like it. And I think it looks really cool. Like, I think this is actually his best figure. Maybe. I, I don't know. You know, it's going to be really stiff, right? The legs are going to be stiff as hell. You guys remember? I hope he has this base form, the way he's, like, standing. Because that's a hell of a lot better than that JBL basic we got way back in the day, right? Like, a few years back. You guys remember? It was like his feet were, like, literally together. And he'd fall over all the damn time. He was super stiff. It, it looks good on paper, but it was kind of atrocious, you know? It wasn't one of those figures that knocked it out of the park there, and uh, I always wanted an elite of that JBL, but I really like the base here. I think, you know, the black collared shirt, you got the brown khaki-style suit pants going on, solid little head sculpt. They didn't give him that dark, weird haircut with the TJI Friday stuff going on, man. They actually got him a nice suit here. It looks like Trash Corbin. It may be his best figure ever, even though he, a lot of his figures have been pretty good, to be honest with you, so that's pretty interesting there. But I thought that was a great looking figure. I like the suited body and stuff like that. So you guys can let me know about that one. We also had Bianca Belair. Now this right here is one of those basics in the set that is just atrocious. Look how flat and plain this figure looks. Now I will be honest, the head sculpt isn't like bad. But I'm not really getting Bianca Belair vibes. I think all of her other head sculpts were great. I thought they looked just like her. This one, I don't know. It just, it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't really look like Bianca Belair. You know what I mean? So it's not one of those that, it's, it doesn't really capture the likeness, but it doesn't look stupid or dumb or, or bad. It looks okay. It looks like a good head sculpt for like a random crowd member or something. But I'm not really getting Bianca Belair vibes as long as the likeness. Like it looks like her as far as the hair, things of that nature, but... As far as actually looking just like her, I don't think it quite hits home there, at least in my opinion. But this attire is so flat. It's so flat. It's just a normal body there. Her legs are solid painted. You just have to like lip emojis or lip logos just kind of plastered on there. Solid silver boots. Very plain Jane top with the orange armbands. Just a really weird basic figure. And I mean, it's right there in the title. It's so funny. We, we talk about basics all the time, right? We're like, God, basics are so terrible. Look how plain. But they're literally... Literally called WWE basic figures. They are basic figures of WWE superstars. So, you know how like in every wave there's always that one plain Jane figure? I think Bianca Belair takes the cake here, man. And then next up in the set we also have Candice LeRae. Now we have two different Candice LeRae's and one of them is like this white and teal and then one of them is like this purple and yellow. And, you know, they're not, uh, I don't know, man. It's just for whatever reason, men's basic figures are still much better than the women's and I'm not sure. Maybe it's just like the body mold that's used most of the time where it just looks like a female body and then you just have flat painted on tights and trunks like Corbin right Corbin has like some tech you know he's got some like sculpting going on he's got the suit jacket he has the sleeves that are molded he's got the khaki pants that are molded he's got the belt he's got different things going on with him you even go down to Lince Dorado his tights have like some texturing he's got the wristbands on there you go into even his mask right his mask is on there and then Randy Orton he has the hooded sleeves that are molded on there the shorts have some wrinkles and some some life to them. And then when you look at Candice LeRae and Bianca Belair's figures, they're just straight flat. There's no like sculpted details in them mainly and it really makes the figure look lackluster. It really does. I think it takes away a lot. I do like the headband on the one Candice LeRae. I think that the standard version is the one without the headband and then the Chase variant is the purple headband there. But that is the full Basic Series 131 wave. Uh, it's kind of a, I don't know. I mean, this is kind of a video to just kind of take Basics in as a whole, right? Not a lot of stuff going on with it, but I thought that the the trash Corbin was was great, man. The Trash Corbin is actually, it's his best figure. I'm praising a Trash Corbin figure. Yeah, it, it's pretty nice. I think you could put like a classic Vince McMahon from that one battle pack. If you put that battle pack head sculpt onto this figure, I think you'd have a really sick looking Vince McMahon, man. I think it would be a really dope figure indeed. And you may even be able to put uh, some other guys on there. I think you could get away with some evolution members maybe. You swap the hands. Uh, lots of playability, man. You could, you could make this guy into a lot of different guys. But that is it for the reveals. Again, we're gonna have more reveals. I know it's kind of lackluster right not a lot of stuff going on here but i wanted to get on here and cover this basic wave because we have not seen a lot of these and i wanted to talk about the bianca belair like how flat it looked get your guys opinion and then talk about the trash corbin suited figure man but anyways guys that is pretty much going to wrap up today's news again we do have plenty of aew figure news coming we have wwe figure news coming at uh, wrestlemania and then of course with revolution coming up fan fest should be epic man hopefully we get some epic stuff going on we're going to cover it all here on the channel review it talk about it slam it praise it you know you know how it goes but anyways guys thank you for watching i know it was kind of a lackluster but hopefully you know uh you know what what is good is that uh trash corbin's figure didn't cross the line but unfortunately bianca belair's did you
Cross the line, I've been 